Welcome to the raw ring twenties. Hi everyone, welcome back to my Hmm. Hi everyone, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely week. So, growing up, as everyone does, I really struggled to find myself and find who I was. And because of that, I went through so many phases. And the one that has stuck with me, and I still kind of am in, because it's not a phase, mom, is the emo phase slash scene phase. I loved everything about that phase. I thought today we could turn ourselves into the emo scene kid that I always dreamt of being because it's the raw ring 20s, raw XD, you know. So yeah, I guess we'll just get into it. I'm so excited. It's going to be fun. I think we're going to be facing a lot of our demons today, but they can swim. Also, I thought it'd be fun if I did a how emo am I quiz just to, you know, make sure that you all know that I'm an emo. I'm not a fake. Why am I tearing up? Also, okay. So a huge part of emo culture is <laughs> drinking monster energy drinks. And I saw the funniest like tweet or it was a screenshot of a TikTok. That was like, please be respectful about drinking monster because it's part of the emo scene subculture and you are culturally appropriating if you drink it. And you know what? I'm gonna be cultural appropriate right now. I'm drinking my monster. <laughs> Um, and I thought it'd be fun because Monster's an energy drink. Wow. I do not drink caffeine really apart from tea. Normally caffeine makes me extremely anxious and jittery. But I thought it would be fun to channel my inner emo. And like, it's kind of emo to be like anxious. I, I used to drink Monster like once every few weeks. And I think I was well odd. So beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god, that brings back so many memories. Have you ever seen that video of that woman? You could have here in Hebrew, 666 on the can. Makeup wise, seeing makeup is literally like just like eyeliner and like a very pale foundation. So I'm going to start with foundation. Okay, I think I've officially broken my pumpkin headband. So I'm just using a really pale foundation. And I, oh. oh! Can you see? It's like, you're lying, I hate you. I was supposed to be in the video. It's fine, I'm an emo. I don't care about anything other than Ollie Sykes. Let's try this again. I actually kinda hate that. Okay, let's start the Am I Emo quiz. How does sadness make you feel? God, Jesus Christ, this is too much for me. <laughs> What is my favorite weather? Hmm, I don't know. I would either say cloudy days or sunny days, but I live in the north of England, so every day is cloudy and it kind of gets old. But then in summer, I don't like the sun because I'm emo. How sensitive are you? Very, very sensitive. Who's your favorite author? Edgar Allan Poe. Oh yeah, of course. I just love me some Edgar Allan Poe. My favorite author is Jacqueline Wilson. Jacqueline Wilson books are so sick. If you've never read Jacqueline Wilson books, read them. So I've put on the foundation, I put on loads of powder. I wouldn't use like bronzer and stuff because you'd want to look pale and like ghostly. Much amount to, oh my God, my eyes are getting jittery. I got my driver's eyes since last week. Just like we used to talk about. It was so excited for me to finally drive up to your house. What the world need, needs more of is cheese. <laughs> Even edgy. Um, love. Oh, I, I clicked cheese by accident. <laughs> Oh yay! You are totally emo! Let me just screenshot that, keep that one for the books, print it out, put it on the wall. Right, back onto the makeup. I got distracted by the emo quiz and the devil. So, time to do eyebrows. Oh, really thin eyebrows. Brush them down. And they're very like flat, not angled. Which is really unfortunate because I have such perfect eyebrows that I like, can't make them flat. Yeah, I'm gonna put a bit of black eyeshadow or brown eyeshadow. I don't know. A bit of darker eyeshadow in the brows. What doesn't kill you makes you wish you were dead. Basically, I'm just gonna do black eyeshadow all around and then black eyeliner. Um, I don't have eyeliner, so I'm gonna have to use black lipstick as eyeliner. But I think that was 
fine. Am I seen quiz? Okay, this is a different one, and I don't think I'm a scene. I think I'm an emo. Have you ever called anyone a poser? <gasps> Can I tell you a story? It used to be a big thing back in the day on Tumblr that they'd all be like, when you see someone out wearing a Nirvana top, you need to stop them and ask them to name five Nirvana songs. And if they don't know them, they're a poser, right? And me being like a stupid idiot thought that that was actually gonna happen to me. And I had a Nirvana top, but I didn't really listen to Nirvana. Um, I knew like two songs, but I just had a top because again, I was a poser, I wanted to be emo. So I memorized the name of five Nirvana songs and the name of like two of their albums. So that if I ever got asked out in the street, if anyone was ever like, uh, um, tell me the name of like two of five Nirvana songs, I would be ready. Oh god. I'm definitely not seen. Which lyric unlocks your imagination? How do you know? <gasps> How do you know? How deep to go before it's real? <laughs> I may be paranoid, but not an android. <laughs> Why is that so funny? I may be paranoid, but at least I don't have an android. My kitty cat, my beautiful kitten. Girl, you have done it again. Constantly raising the bar for us all and doing it flawlessly. Oh, oh I'm 0%. Zero 0% percent, zero percent seen. Oh. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Have you kissed a member of the same sex more than once? And one of the options to answer is, of course, in front of other people so they can see how strange and messed up I am. What the fuck? <laughs> There's so much wrong with that answer. In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in. Okay, I feel like that's okay for the eyeshadow because I feel like I'm not going to be able to do any more and it looks shit, but like I don't really want to do any more. So I'm going to put some eyeliner on. I found this um, fancy eyeliner brush in my sister's room. Oh, I'm literally a makeup artist. Oh my god. I'm so good. This is so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so bad at makeup. I'm so bad at makeup. I'm so bad at makeup. That's the makeup done then. Should I try black lipstick? I am a real emo. Emo is who I am. It's not a phase, mom. Oh my god, I look absolutely atrocious right now. I guess this is the makeup done. I might take the black lipstick off for the final event, but I'm gonna keep it on for a bit now. Um, I'm gonna straighten my hair, but I think I'm gonna do it off camera because it's so long, it's gonna take ages and it's boring. So I'll speak to you when my hair is straightened. A few moments later. I've straightened my hair now. I've taken the black lipstick off because it just was not a vibe. <coughs> so now it's on to time to do my hair. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'll decide what I'm wearing and then I will put it on, do my hair, but I'll keep the outfit covered so it's still a surprise for you all. With the grip on the glasses, girl. Okay, it's time to do my hair. I feel like I have the outfit down, but I kind of hate it, but I feel like that is why it's good. So time to do my hair. I don't really know what to do, so it's kind of just a guessing game. So I think the essentials, straighteners and hairspray. Here's the final reveal. Loki love the bottom half. So I put on some tights and then rip them and put on some knee high socks. Kind of feel really powerful. Like I'm gonna go to school and get bullied, but like I don't care because I'm like cool. Black hoodie on maybe? Have you ever heard of Bring Me The Horizon? Name five Bring Me The Horizon songs. Or you're not a real fan. Raw XD. Oh, they always used to wear glasses like this, didn't they? It's not a phase, mom. Some nice Arnold Clark sunglasses. Let me put on some emo music and pretend I'm at like a concert. Till my mouth was dripping blood But I never dished the dirt to sell my breath Why you drive me through the mud The swallowing The swallowing
Welcome to the Raw Ring 20s. <laughs> I just bring my choker. How am I gonna continue? Time to listen to some Bring Me the Horizon. Welcome to the Raw Ring 20s. Normalize being a goth communist Nicki Minaj fan. I can't do this anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you know when you get the ick about yourself? That's me right now and I need to go. Cause I got your picture, I'm coming with you. Dear Maria, count me in. I'm the one that's tearing you down. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all have a nice week and I'll see you next week. Peace out, Rawson people.